ready to go. Maybe, but Megan heard them arguing about it. She seemed really upset about it. Upset is a permanent state of being for her. Where's the little princess anyway? Megan's gone upstairs. Maybe I'm sending your ass to go check on her. <laughs> Man, fuck you. <laughs> I won't be the one to go in there and see what she's doing. <sighs> Shit. Okay, wait. Pick up object and examine it. Why are they giving me a move faster option? <laughs> <laughs> This little girl then No. Oh, I thought this game would actually be good then. That would be pretty cool if you could hear my conversation that I'm having upstairs. <clears throat> you need to keep an eye on your little sister. Mom is real worried about her. It's uh. okay, Dad. Tanya's checking on her right now. Oh, it's not oh, Tanya, it's Tanya. Family like this. The devil himself would struggle with you guys. I don't care about. <laughs> well, I gotta move faster. Why? Huh. Okay. Holy uh, terrible grief. Megan is in even more trouble than I thought. Uh, that motherfucker's a flunky. Yeah, man, they keep every fucking door in this house locked. Jesus. Huh. Okay, so I'm assuming. God, the controls are so weird. Son of a Fuck my ass. So loud. You heard it? Yes. What the fuck was that shit? Did it? Put, did you hear it through my headset or from your side? I hope it wasn't through your fucking headset. <laughs> Jesus, that shit it was, was loud. loud. It was the grandfather clock, but I went around the corner oh. and it, it fucking went off. I'm about to say, if that shit's coming through your headphones, bro, your eardrums are fucking done. Ah, huh. uh, so we're locked inside. Got it. What? Noted. Press X. Uh oh, what the fuck did I do? <laughs> Wait, let me, let me. Oh shit, I fucked up. I didn't get. I didn't read it in time. Perfect distraction from this madhouse. Okay, that's it. Alright. Um, what's this? Uh, not, not the right option to pick, Jesus. Okay. Uh, okay. Wait. Did did this little bitch just lock me out the house? You're locked outside. Just to look around, there might be hidden information. Uh, am I missing something? <sighs> oh my fucking god! Scared the shit out of me. Anthony, where are you? God damn it! Anthony, where are you? God damn it! 
Oh, is that you on the balcony? <laughs> Can you hear me? Yeah, I'm coming. It's showing me a cutscene of me going outside to get you. Oh my god, wait. She's behind me. Uh-oh. You could be right about my family. Yeah, you remember how I said something about her being possessed? So mm-hmm. Holy Tanya. shit. What's going on? That little brat locked me out. It's fucking freezing. I'll let you back in. Go easy on Megan. Hold on. Oh shit. Oh never mind. Uh oh. The fuck is the floor made of carpet in here? What the fuck? Shit! <laughs> Megan! You in there? The kitchen's on fire! Are you fucking serious? Megan! Me personally, I'm jumping from the balcony. He's being a dickhead. He deserves to die up there. Damn, I feel like this could have. Uh, I feel like this could have changed differently if I'd have done the thing correctly. Oh, you got him killed? Mm-hmm. Hey, well, not necessarily. Just jump. How's he sleeping through that, bruh? So that woke him up and not the house yeah. being on fire? I feel bad for her. Uh oh, ceiling fall on him, imagine. Oh my god. Damn. Damn. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. Cook that motherfucker. <laughs> what should I do? I chose to help you. Well thanks. I appreciate it. Uh I'm down the pipe. I think I think you just died. I think we're gonna get you killed. Oh, oh, oh my God! All right, well we. Suck. <laughs> <laughs> okay, did so we, did we just kill everybody <laughs> within the first? <laughs> pulled a release. <laughs> Okay, um... Oh god, this oh, no. is probably gonna die as well. Oh, shit! How do you even explain this to this guy? We, we deadass just got everyone killed. <laughs> There's not a single person left alive. Where are you going, Anthony? Did I just... <laughs> okay. You didn't see what you did? Yeah, I just ran through the front door oh, into the okay. fire. 
Okay. Um. So oh. where I messed up, I was listening to. Oh, so oh I just got it. Yeah. Wait. What's the description? Complete the what prologue. What percent of people get yeah. that? <laughs> <laughs> okay. No, but what I did, I was listening to Megan talk to her imaginary demon, mm -hmm. and it like gave me like a like a like a little test to like my heartbeat and shit. And I wasn't really reading well on the right side. And, uh... What the fuck is this Stone Cold Steve Austin They do this intro? for all of them, bro. It's, it's this guy's intro. But, um... Yeah, I fucked it up. And so her... Like, she accidentally like, fell against the door. And so she went in there to Megan and started talking to Megan. And then a crow slammed into the window and died, and so I went outside to inspect it, and she locked me out. Damn. So wait, right if they would have made you use the window, you would have died either way. Yeah. I feel like. That's what I was like. You were like, I think we got you killed. I'm like, well, my only other option was to go to the burning house. So. Yeah. Damn, they won't let us skip this shit, huh? <laughs> I mean, hey, it's a good song, though. Tell me it's almost over. <laughs> I want to get back to playing. Oh my oh God! My flashbang! God. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ! <laughs> so close. Hello. So you. I know this audio from TikTok. I don't believe that we've met before, have we? No matter. Welcome to my repository. I am the curator guardian of all these wonderful stories and I have a very special tale for you to tell wow you know I'm a, you know I'm bad I must have suck having to carry around that big ass trident <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> disconcerting no or needs to invest in some lights this Bro, he has lamps over there. Maybe he didn't have bulbs. It's only just for decoration. And the Imagine. You make. Or electricity in this fucking place. Yeah. The fire. No, there was nothing you could have done about that. Oh, okay. What's happened has happened. Or has it? Anyway, look to the future, I say. Life's but a walking shadow, eh? Oh. You are about to enter a confusing, perhaps disturbing world. How disturbing might depend on what you choose to believe, and how confusing on the path you choose to take. There are an infinite number of directions in which one could travel. We seldom have all the information that we like, but we have to choose our path nonetheless and hope that we get the clarity and the outcomes that we want. You see, you will be <coughs> determining the outcome of this tale together. What one does will often affect the other. So even though you are two people, you'll be completing the story as if you were one, if that makes any sense. Uh, yeah, it as does. In life, the actions you take matter. They will determine how your story resolves. You can't go back and change the beginning, but you can start where you are and change the end. You w quote. The story starts. W yeah. So much death. We just got that triumph. How many more deaths is entirely up to you. It depends on the decisions that you make. So what are you? Rational? Emotional? Do you trust your head? 
or your heart? There is no right answer. Sometimes one is best and sometimes the other. My advice for what it's worth is to thine own self be true. Noted. But uh, <laughs> I'm here simply to record what you do, not to help you. <clears throat> I'm not supposed to interfere, you see. Not my place, apparently. Blink twice if you're being honest. Yeah. <laughs> I am apparently allowed to share wise words from great storytellers that have gone before where I feel that that would be appropriate. Oh, one final thing before I let you go. There are pictures in Little Hope that will, if found, show you a vision of a possible future, something that may or may not happen. Use them. They might help you. You have a funeral to attend. Off you go. Have fun. So, who the fuck is... We just happen to get two people with the same name? Is that what it is? None of us here today can understand why this tragic accident happened. But we can take comfort from the knowledge that the family are together for eternity in God's loving embrace.